Aloha. 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 Family. Aloha. Aloha, Adam. Aloha. Family and friends. A friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beautiful hike today. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> no, thank you. First, I'd like to have the four of us, Mark, Emily, Adam, and myself, join hands and acknowledge everybody, family, friends, loved ones that are not here with us today in spirit or in physical form. Let me take a moment of silence. And Emily and Adam, if you'd like to express any love for those that are not with us, you may take the time now. I'd like to thank our family and friends, those who introduced us, and those that support our relationship. And just because you're not here, doesn't mean you're not here in spirit. We uh, have you in our thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Great. First, call out. Looks a little different today, but I'd like to start with a few words on Kauai. Emily and Adam have chosen the island of Kauai to express their undying love and devotion to one another. Although weddings are sometimes considered a public ceremony in which there are few or many witnesses, the commitment of marriage is both sacred and intimate. How fitting that you have chosen the world's most isolated and intimate of settings to profess your love. Kauai is also the oldest of the inhabited Hawaiian islands and is considered by many to hold a sacred wisdom that both encourages and challenges all of her children. The Garden Island, rightly, na rightly named for lush jungles and a central mountain that receives more life-giving water than anywhere else on the planet, is also a place of intense growth and prosperity. With respect and love, I encourage Adam and Emily to remember that in all the world they have chosen to come together as husband and wife in a place that not only supports the intimate nature of their bond, but carries that bond with an intention of intense growth and prosperity through a sacred and deep-rooted wisdom. I'd now like to say a few words on marriage. Today's celebration gives us all an opportunity to reflect on marriage. Marriage is more than a legal contract. It is a lifetime commitment to be the witness to each other's lives. Marriage fulfills our human need for love, companionship, and support in hard times. Perhaps the most important facet to marriage is that it challenges us to be a better person. As a single person, one only worries about him or herself, but a married person is concerned about the needs of someone else. Marriage is a promise for a future together. Emily and Adam, this celebration is an outward expression of your sacred and inward union of hearts. It is a union created when two people knowingly and willingly commit to their hearts, minds, and bodies to one another. It is in this spirit and for this purpose that you have come here today to be joined together. Emily and Adam, I ask you now in the physical and spiritual presence of your family and friends to declare your intention to enter into marriage with each other. Please face each other. Take a picture of this moment in your mind. May the majesty and beauty of the island of Kauai fill your hearts and may you never forget the love you feel now in this moment as you declare your commitment to one another. Adam, will you have Emily to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you love her, comfort her, Keep her in sickness and in health, and be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I will. And Emily, will you have Adam to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you love him, comfort him, keep him in sickness and in health, and be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I will. Blessings of the Rings. A symbol of never ending, the circle of a ring represents undying eternal love and the continually renewed vows of the married couple. Mark, may I please have the rings? There you go, buddy. Adam, please place the ring on Emily's finger and repeat after me. Emily, I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal love. Emily, I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal love. My, my commitment to you and our life together. My commitment to you and our life together. With all that I have and all that I am, I honor you. With all that I have and all that I am, I honor you. Emily, please place the ring on Adam's finger and repeat after me. Adam, I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal love. Adam, I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal love. My commitment to you and our life together. My commitment to you and our life together. With all that I have and all that I am, I honor you. With all that I have and all that I am, I honor you. Emily and Adam, making your relationship work will take love. 
This is the core of your marriage and why you are here today. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you truly want to be the best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings, and it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both pledge to share together. When life challenges you, you will have to focus on the resiliency of your love. You will have to be your best for yourselves and for each other. May the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives. May you meet with courage the problems that arise to challenge you, and may your relationship always be one of love and trust. May the happiness you share today be with you always, and may every word you have pledged be a living truth in your lives. As a testament to their love and longevity, Emily and Adam have written cards to be opened on their first official anniversary. Four years, four years from today. They're over there. They're over there. <laughs> they will exchange them later. Adam and Emily, now that you have declared your love and commitment to each other before your family and friends, I am pleased to pronounce you as husband and wife. You may now seal your promise with a kiss. I love you. You're the best. <laughs> oh, I hope my equipment is out. That was amazing.